Gunther was given tremendous God-given ability, you know, with his with his frame and with his uh, with his ability, with his agility and, and his and his his strength, and he has not let that stop him trying to improve. He's constantly trying to improve. He's our motivational leader. He is our guy that the kids really, you know, rally around. You look at his body type and you think, okay, you know, this is a pass rusher. He plays the run great. He's doing a great job taking on pulling guards, you know, blowing up fullbacks. That, that's what's most impressive about him right now. With my father being a coach, I definitely don't get any special treatment, I don't think. I think he might treat me a little worse than the regular kids, to be honest. You know, it's weird. Um, obviously, I never coached him in football before, and I love having them here. But in the end, I mean, you got to get your job done. And if they get their job done, they play. If they don't, they don't play. He was coaching a lot longer before I got here. So I always saw the whole tradition in the whole program growing up. It was a great experience to finally be part of it. And now I feel thrilled to be on the field doing what I watched other people do for so long. Having my dad be a coach and him trying to get so many people in college all the time, I always hear about, oh, he could play here and here, but he can't get into that school because he has bad grades. So growing up, I knew if I was a good football player, that was great and all, but without grades, I wasn't gonna be able to go anywhere. And having good grades and keeping those consistently has opened up tons of doors for me. Hunter, more than anything, wants to be remembered as a great whaler. And he has said that, you know, in our captain's interviews and things such as that, that and that means a lot to him and that drives him.